Hello, my people. So as we were looking for different cash advances to make videos, we found a very interesting and possibly little known way to borrow money. If you're not getting qualified to take out cash advances from some of these apps, or if you're being offered a very limited amount at first, then this next thing that I'm about to talk about might be the best option for you. So the way that we found to borrow money is through a Reddit thread. The Reddit thread is called Borrow. This is where people like you and me can act as lenders and essentially lend borrowers money that they're asking for on the thread. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough today of how to get started with that, what you need, and how to lend and borrow. And we actually went through the process ourselves, so I'm going to talk to you about our experience with that and what I think about this option instead of using a cash advance. Okay, so first things first, when I was filming this video, I went into this group Reddit borrow, I joined it, and then I posted asking to borrow some money. We're going to set the limit at $25 to borrow and $25 to lend and see what happens. When I initially posted asking for the money, it got taken down by a moderator. And that is when I found out that in order to make use of this Reddit thread, you have to have a certain amount of karma. So right now, if you look in the rules, you have to have at least 2000 karma and you have to have at least 800 comic karma. So I admit I'm a little bit late to the game and I'm fairly new at Reddit. So I did not have the requirements to even use this feature. So this is something for people who have been on Reddit it for a longer period of time. If you need help building karma, you can comment on other people's posts. There was recommendations that you should be posting memes or something like super popular that's going to get a lot of likes and comments, and that's going to help increase your karma fairly quickly. So we do have several people helping to run overdraft apps and one of them did have enough karma. So we used his account to take out a loan and lend money. Okay, so let's go over lending first. My first thought when I saw this was that this could be an amazing side hustle because you can basically determine your interest rate. So I will give a range. I was looking on the thread quite a bit and I've noticed that anything that was like a smaller amount, like $10 to like $35 had around a 10 to $15 interest tagged onto it. If there's $10 worth of interest, then they're going to be paying you back $35 and then you just like basically pocket that $10, right? And so my, my entrepreneurial brain is going through this like, hmm, can I make this a side hustle? Can I take some of my savings and like just lend it to a bunch of people and make money off the interest? However, you do have to be careful when you're lending because you don't want to make it too high. I also noticed that values in the $50 to $100 Mark had like a 40, 30 or $40 interest fee. And then anything above $100 was anywhere from like 50 to $100 in interest. So you can pretty much control how much you are charging people to borrow from you. However, they do warn you on the thread that if your interest rate is too high, then your borrower is not going to want to borrow from you. So also keep that in mind. And we don't also don't want to scam people or be predatory. So we do want to make sure that our interest rates are reasonable. So another point to keep in mind is how you want to give the person the money. Now, a lot of people pay through Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. You can really do whatever you want and it's up to the person to decide if they're comfortable. So I would recommend goods and services because that is protected for both the buyer and the seller. So if you're loaning money and they don't pay it back for some reason, then you can basically contact your payment processor and they'll give you the money back. If you're sending money through the friends and family option, like through PayPal, or you're using Venmo, not goods and services or Cash App or Zelle or something like that, where there's no protection, then you do so at your own risk. I saw someone asking for $25 and said he would repay $35. So we went ahead and contacted him to give him the loan. Now, when you lend money to someone, you are allowed to ask for specific information. I will put a screenshot of what is considered reasonable here. This includes things like name, email, a phone number, Facebook account, just so you can make sure the person's legit and also have a way of contacting them if they, for some reason, don't pay back the loan. Also, fun fact, when you comment on the post that you will be willing to give out a loan, you might get a lot of DMs from people that don't have enough karma asking for you to lend them money. We ignored these because there's not a very high chance that you're going to get paid back if you're doing it just discreetly through the DMs and not through this thread where you can actually keep track of the payments and ban people who don't pay. So if you're getting random DMs from people, highly recommend that you don't let them borrow money and just stick to the reliable thread. So there's a few things you do after you loan the person the money. Most of it's done through the DMs. And then once you send the money, you come back to the thread and you comment dollar sign loan, and then you put the amount and that's going to trigger a bot that's going to track whether or not this person repaid you. Then that person's going to come in and comment confirm, which basically alerts the system that you did in fact give them the money. So after asking for the information, you can also check the person's status so you can see if they've borrowed money 
before and if they've failed to pay it back before. So once you get the money back, you go back to the thread and you comment uh, with the dollar sign and then paid with ID and then the ID number and the amount of money. And then that will alert the bot that the person has paid you back. Everything seemed to check out. We gave him the money and that was that. He repaid it. We got some interest. All is good in the world. So the lending process went fairly smoothly. Now for the borrowing process, which is probably why you guys are watching this video in the first place. That did not go so smoothly and it took us three attempts to successfully borrow money from this thread. It technically took us four tries to do it because I tried it first, I didn't have enough karma. Then we used a different account that did have the right amount of karma, but then there was a typo. You have to make sure you get everything right as you fill it out. There's a specific way to do it. I will put the link to the direction page in down below in the description so you can access that and go into this in more depth because I'm just giving you an overview right now. But you have to get that right and there was a typo and you're also not allowed to delete the typo or you will get banned. So you have to <laughs> leave all of your mistakes there. So we had to wait and then post again. And then when we posted again, we did have someone offer us money. However, they went back and forth and back and forth in the inbox and were super flaky. We didn't end up getting a loan from them at all. They did get some screenshots of our personal information, so that's a little bit sketchy. And then we tracked his history, his Reddit history, and he was very active on the meth thread. So, uh, so you definitely want to maybe check these people, make sure that they're reliable, they're not doing any sketchy things on other Reddit threads. Uh, so yeah, pro tip, check out their profile before uh, agreeing to borrow money from them. After we did that, we waited a little bit and then we posted again and then we actually had somebody legit who offered to loan us the money. So they put the little check thing in the comments so we could see their history. And then they also suggested Venmo goods and services. So that's a good sign. And that's important to mention too, if you are borrowing money and you are wanting to do it through goods and services, it is going to take a fee out, a processing fee. So PayPal or Venmo, whichever of those two is gonna take out, I think it's like 3.5%, but you'll have to look that up because it might change. So you have to compensate for that, right? Because that is not the person lending you the money's responsibility to compensate for the platform service fee. So you have to put that into the amount. So if you want to borrow $30, then say you wanna borrow like 35 or $40, right? To make room for that fee that's gonna come out when they pay you through the goods and services. So we did end up borrowing from this person. They gave us a loan. Everything went smoothly. So once we actually got the ball rolling and found somebody legit, that was great. But you do have to watch out for people who are asking for your personal information, who then just ghost you. Um, so you do need to be really careful. So there's, there's a lot of things that can go wrong within this thread. And they do have a lot of safety measures, which is amazing. Like they will tell you things to look out for in terms of scammers. There's places where you can go to check to see if someone has scammed someone before and they do their best to get your money back or ban them if you are not getting repaid for the loan. So there are, there are safety measures in place. However, I still think that there is a lot of room for scammers or yeah, for things to go wrong just in general. Um, I would say our first attempt went pretty smoothly, to be honest, like it could have been a lot worse. We could have gotten totally scammed. <laughs> uh, so I will, I will give it credit for that. For me, I think this is a great option for people who can't use cash advances or need to borrow more money than the cash advance is going to give them. This is definitely something you should try if you're in one of those two scenarios. However, I think first, you should, you should try the cash advances before going to this thread because it does take longer. The fees can be higher depending on how much the person is charging an interest. And just overall, it's a more like, I would say stressful process than us using a cash advance. The cash advance is just like really quick and easy and you know what you're getting. And it's like through a protected <laughs> system, right? There's not really like loopholes to get scammed. You can rack up fees if you're not careful, but that's pretty much the extent of it, right? So yeah, I would recommend going to the cash advances first. However, I do really think that this is a cool thread to have. I, I like the idea of like peer to peer borrowing and lending that appeals to me. And I also think it could be a good side hustle. I'm still gonna stay attached to that idea. So it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. I would say definitely check it out if the cash advances aren't really helping you that much. All right, so I hope you guys found that helpful and I will see you next time for the next video. Bye.